Saint Bernardine of Siena, the saint whose feast we celebrate today was a wonderful preacher. He was born in 1390 in the province of Tuscany. He moved throughout Italy after he was ordained and preached using the holy name of Jesus, the name above all names. The world beneath would even bow to that name. That name of Jesus is the name that Peter used when he was going to the sick and healings came instantly. That is the name that we ourselves proclaim. But do we believe that it is Jesus that can heal, that can bring light into the soul, that can transform night into day? When St. Bernardine of Siena preached, it was like a flame disintegrating all the heresies because Jesus does that. He is contrary to the world. And as we read in the Gospel, we also have the power of the name of Jesus. But he's asked us, if you love me and keep my commandments, he will give you the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit was given to the apostles so that they could proclaim the name of Jesus, the one who rose from the dead, who is Lord above all, through whom all things are made. This is the Holy Spirit which rose Jesus from the dead. We also have access to the Holy Spirit. And when we keep the commandments, go to confession when we are in serious sin, the Holy Spirit is active within us. You will do greater works than mine. For the priests, St. Augustine has said that there's more power in the absolution of a repentant sinner's mortal sins than there is with God's power of creating the universe. So, a priest who hears confessions are doing greater things because he has got access to perhaps more people than Jesus and also he has a greater lifespan here on earth. One of the other things St. Bernardine of Siena had was a great love for Our Lady. He had said that within the womb of Our Lady she contained what the whole universe could not contain, Jesus himself. So, we turn to her and when we preach Jesus, we preach the mother of Jesus, because the mother of Jesus is the one who we in the Catholic faith have elevated to be and are dogmatically proclaiming as the mother of God. The miracles, greater miracles happen within the Catholic Church. Greater miracles happen not only because we have access to the sacraments, the real presence, and also the sacraments of the dead, extreme unction, and also confession and baptism. But we have access to the truth. And though there is a great exodus of people due to the, the complicence of those people who should have acted at times when they didn't in the clergy, we know that the essence and that the true faith was founded by God himself, by Jesus forming his church here on earth. The first church, of course, was the Virgin, Our Lady. She gave birth to the head. And also, Jesus allowed Mary to be the mother of its members. So we turn to Jesus, and he will always point us to his mother, because she's been given that role to pray for us, to pray for her children, to bring them to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.